Nestled between Red Birch Court to the southwest, Valu Cemetery to the southeast, Franklin Turnpike to the north, and a dense residential area to the south and west lies Twinny Pond Park, a three-foot-deep kettle pond dating from the Ice Age. The Ridgewood Wildscape Association's Andrew Antista took us on a tour to explore the flora and fauna in the park. Uh, we're going to take a little tour through Twinney's Pond area. It's one of the ten open space areas in Ridgewood that are available to residents um, seven days a week during the daylight hours, 365 days a year. This is Red Birch Court we're on, the end of Red Birch Court, and what you're looking at right here are Red Birch trees. They are um, also called river birch because they like to have their roots in wet areas. If you look at the pond, it's probably at its lowest point. Um, even though we've had all this rain, it has not been days and days and days of uh, sustained rain. There's no uh, snow runoff this year, so the pond is, is at a very low state. This is predominantly a maple forest. There are some oak trees, but it's predominantly, you know, hardwood. A maple tree where there is a single palmate leaf. You notice it sort of looks silver on the other side. When it's going to rain, the wind blows and you can see that side show frequently. Now, at one time, the pond was right up to this line of trees here. And you can see that it's still wet. Now, what happens, a kettle pond, and that's what this is called, is formed, you know, like you would think, a kettle. And the runoff water from around the area is higher, and the land is higher, and the water runs off into the, uh, into the pond. However, when you have dry spells, much of the water gets either evaporated or into the soil and never finds its way back into the water again. It's not a problem to leave logs on the ground like this because they become habitat to all kinds of animals. Bacterias, and here's a worm in here. You'll find little salamanders in there occasionally if you're lucky to see them. But what happens eventually is that these insects, these animals, will eventually break down the wood and it'll become brittle and wet and eventually become soil. That tall plant right there and the one right here is uh, what I call false bamboo. It has a hollow stem. Again, a very prolific grower. You find it in generally in wet areas also. Here's the other place where the water comes into the pond. Um, it comes off the street that's right up there behind us. As you see, that there, there's actually there's no, almost no runoff. Nothing is running or flowing. One of our wells is right here. The wells that provide drinking water for Ridgewood. It's also uh, one of the areas where I believe they, uh, they extract any hydrocarbons from the water. This is a young catalpa tree. And catalpa will have the biggest leaf in the forest. And generally they're not a forest tree, but they do grow here. Uh, you can spot catalpas in the fall. They have long cigar-shaped brown seed pods hanging from them. And this plant will definitely have them, well, you know, in a few months. And we're coming around to the other side of the, of the pond area here. The area to my left is uh, part of Vallo Cemetery off to that area. And you see, here's the backyard of the house right, right on the edge of the park. Come in one day, bring your lunch, sit down, relax. And even though there are houses here, it's extremely quiet. I think you can hear the bird in the background. He's stopped now. It's a very pleasant, nice place to come and just sit back and relax. Uh, we're always looking for members. The family membership is $5 a year. Very, very reasonable. The money goes towards maintaining and trying to make sure that these things, these parks, these lovely areas in our town, open spaces, remain open spaces forever for the next generation of young people who live in Ridgewood. So come on out. For more information about joining the Ridgewood Wildscape Association, please visit ridgewoodwildscape.org. For Patch, I'm Marshall Katzman. <laughs>